Uh, first and foremost, congratulations. Say, uh, have you taken over what is a dream job for a Dubliner? I am obviously delighted uh, to be taken over as Dublin manager. It's a great honour for me, for my family and for my club Nafina. So, um, yeah, delighted with it. And what will you be doing differently than Jim Gavin? Um, I'm not sure I'll be doing an awful lot differently. Um, it's still very early days, obviously. So, uh, at the minute, I'm just trying to meet um, players and meet as many of the backroom team to find out what's required for the season ahead. Who will be in your backroom team? Can you enlighten us? Um, no, that hasn't been finalised yet. Obviously, um, this has all happened very quickly, and um, with Christmas and the team being away on holidays and the backroom team with them, so uh, still a little bit of work to be done there, well down the road, but uh, that announcement will come at a further date. What about Stephen Cluxton? A lot of speculation as to his future. Can you enlighten us? Will he be part of the squad in 2020? Yes, uh, Stephen most definitely will be part of the squad in 2020. Obviously being a fantastic servant to Dublin football and um, a man of his talent and experience, um, he'd be badly needed for us going forward. And So Stephen is back. What about the other established names? Do you expect some names to retire? Um, well, obviously some names have retired. Some players have, have gone already. Um, but in terms of the more, se more seasoned players and more experienced players, um, we're definitely looking forward to working with them. Um, it's, it's not a case that we're coming in here with a specific agenda. Everyone will be given an opportunity to perform and to impress the new management team. So a raft of new players, young players? I think so. I think there'll be some new, new players, new blood. I think it's important to have that fresh injection um, for the squad to continually evolve and uh, to continue to reach the standards that they've reached, set for themselves over the last number of years. Dublin uh, supporters have got used to Dublin teams winning. Would it be fair to say, Desi, unless you secure the Sam Maguire this season, it won't, your, your first season in charge will not be a success? Well, I think people are reasonable and understand that it's a massive change. Um, Jim Gavin has been a wonderful leader of Dublin football over the last number of years. Um, with him and his management team stepping away, there's a lot of institutional knowledge has has uh, left um, the squad and the group. And um, uh, so it is, it is a time of change, a time of transition. And uh, all I can say is that we're going to do our very best and be as competitive as we possibly can. And what do you say to people who have said during Jim Gavin's era, Dublin have an unfair advantage, there's so much money in Dublin GAA, is it any wonder they're lifting the Sam Maguire? What do you say to those people? I, I, it's, to me it's not about money, it's not about resources, it's about developing talent and, um, um, and I've been fortunate to have worked with many of those players from under 13 age through development squads, minor and tw under 21 and uh, it's great to get the opportunity to work with them again. One of your predecessors famously said this is the biggest gig in town. Huge pressure on you, Desi. Are you aware of that? Um, it is a pressurised job, um, unquestionably, but um, I, I think it's your own mindset and how you respond to that is very, very important. For me, I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's a great challenge and um, I'm really looking forward to, to working with a great group of players. And I know you've alluded to it already. Is your mantra going forward, if it ain't broke, don't fix it? Um, definitely. I, I think... With a change in management, there's bound to be uh, some changes um, and possibly some changes that are required to freshen it up and to re-energise, I think will be important. But, but definitely there's been a hugely successful template in place and uh, it would be naive of us to try and um, bring, any, bring about any drastic changes. Are Dublin vulnerable in 2020? A new manager, some new faces. Are you vulnerable? Um, I, I think so. I think um, once you're at the summit, you're always vulnerable. You have a big target on, on your back and... Uh, this year is no different and um, I, I think for us it's about creating an environment that uh, galvanises the squad and the team uh, to be able to deal with those threats. And what sort of footballing style will you be playing? Will it be the same? Um, I, I've always been uh, passionate about attacking football style. Um, Dublin have been fantastic proponents of that over the last number of years um, so I don't see that changing. And again, if I can ask you, Desi, this is a high-pressure job. What you do as Dublin manager will be analysed, commented on. Are you ready for that? I'm ready for it, yeah. If, um, if I wasn't ready for it, I wouldn't have taken the job. What message would you have for Dublin supporters to be watching this tonight? Um, I, th I think the only message I give Dublin supporters is um, they know the team, they know how committed uh, the players are to the Dublin jersey, and the new management team will be equally committed.